Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. Now today we're going to learn a tune called The Flooded Road to Glenties, which is in Donegal, I hope. It's in B minor. Now normally when I sit down to record a bunch of lessons for a tune, I have kind of a plan. Uh, today I have absolutely none whatsoever. So I've no idea where I'm going with any of this, except to tell a story with the tune. So we're going to look at The Flooded Road to Glenties. We'll learn the simple melody. That'll be somewhere in this video. I'll have it marked out if you're watching this on YouTube. Uh, we'll look at ornamentation. But we're trying to... So the plan is to try and think about the tune as a story. So starting simply with a little bit of development and then ending it nicely. So I'll play it. I'll talk through some of the ideas. Hopefully this one won't be very long, your time is valuable. While you're here, just hit the like and subscribe button, drop a comment, it makes a big difference. And if you want to support all of this free content that I'm making on YouTube, do head on over to Patreon. If you sign up today, you get access to 73 different tune lessons immediately, with at least two added every month. So here we go. Straight off the bat, I'm going to point out something in the second half. So there's a section where you're going to need to hold on, a kind of bridging or barring, the fret 2, so the B and the F sharp. So that's the simple melody of it. So it starts with a D on the 5th fret, down to a triplet on the B. And as it bounces back and over between the high string and the B, you're going to need to keep that on. So that's just something to point out straight away. It's an opportunity to practice having a nice high finger placement on the left hand. Now, just I would use my pinky for that high A. You can absolutely use your ring finger and either one is fine. For me, that's just an easier stretch. So experiment with both because flexibility in your left hand fingering is a great advantage. So here's kind of what we're aiming for, which is ornamentation, a little bit of bounce, keeping the tempo swingy but not fast. So everything in that version of the tune is very achievable. It sounds complicated because, of course, I'm putting it all in at the same time. So I'm going to play through the tune now much slower, but with the same amount of ornamentation and chords and stuff like that in it. 
just so that you can see that it's all very achievable. It might sound kind of bamboozling when you hear it all together. Each of those little segments, whether it's a triplet or a kind of a slide hammer-on sequence, learning them note by note or bar by bar and slotting in the ones that you like often makes it a lot easier. And you know what? When you're on Sound Slice, if you're a tab reader, note reader, ABC reader, sometimes it does help to be able to look at the actual notes just so that you know what's going on. So here's once round through the tune, really slow, but with all the fun stuff added in. Nothing complicated there. Single note triplets and the three note triplets. So that's a chromatic triplet. And the easiest way to do a chromatic triplet is use all three fingers. Slides. It's just about creating little moments of interest in the tune. Now there's a very common theme. <clears throat> the tune is... which is a very clear step down. As a variation, what it does, it, it removes the step down and it, it's, it's almost like it slows down the melody or the progress of that section. So just to hear the two pieces together. So you're kind of lingering on the high note before going to the F. So that kind of just creates a sort of a swing in that variation. Let's imagine you're playing this tune twice through maybe in a performance set. What you want to do is tell a little story. Now, I know when I say that, I kind of know what it means, and then when I go to play, I don't know if I always communicate it as well as what I think I do in my head. The idea is to start with the simple introduction of the melody itself, and then gradually introduce ornamentation, and maybe kind of building it into a sort of a climax two-thirds of the way through the tune. Two-thirds? Two-thirds of the way through the tune and then the resolution at the end. So I'm going to try to do that now.
Here's the simple version. Because, you know, it's always worth learning the melody first, before putting in the fun stuff. That turned out to be a simple version with ornamentation because at that speed my brain didn't know what to do except put in ornaments. So there you go, kind of like a double slow lesson. So we've done simple tune, simple tune with ornamentation, the fancy stuff, the fancy stuff slowed down and then a sort of a performance version where hopefully, if I did it right, you should see some sort of trajectory of the tune. So hope you enjoy this short lesson for the flooded road to Glenties. If you did, hit the like, subscribe, drop a comment. And if you want to learn banjo with me, come join me on Patreon. There are over 350 musicians on there right now. It's a wonderful community.